Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a binocular zoom. So here's what I got. Let's hit play. And if I play, I press V, we have the zoom here, uh, which is uh, four times zoomed in. Then we got eight times zoomed in and 60 times zoomed in. So yeah, um, if I press V now again, I will get back into the normal view. So yeah, that's all. Let's get started. So I open up the content browser and can pick uh, the first or the third person template, it doesn't matter. We'll just pick the first person and I call this binoculars tutorial. So let's create this. And here we are. So um, let's first delete the walls here so we can actually zoom a bit out. And then let's create a small landscape. So just hit here create and then just paint there in the distance some uh, yeah, structures so we can see them. Let's make this here a bit like this. So it doesn't need to be pretty just for testing. So um, get back here into your uh, place mode. And then the next step will be up, open up your blueprints folder. And here uh, we import our binoc binoculars layout. So I uh, will upload this picture here. I did this with uh, Photoshop, it's just uh, yeah, two uh, circles uh, yeah, without any color, so very simple. Next up, let's create the user interf interface. This will be our binoc binocular, like so. And here, just get an image, this one and just stretch it over the whole size of the uh, widget. And then the next step will be just the text, which comes here at the bottom somewhere. Well, we can first uh, set the image, so click the image, and then here on the image, just um, click this one. I will give it another name later. So if you sometimes get this bug here, uh, you open, uh, click on this and it open up the save as asset as, then just uh, hold left mouse button, click and then go down. So this is a small bug here and this is how you can fix this. So now this t uh, thing here, this text block, let's anchor this to the bottom and um, let's actually get here some normal values, minus 100, 1700. And yeah, that's okay. So I'll align it to the center of the text and then we want to bind the text. Uh, from this one here, we get the format text. And for the format, we can make curly uh, brackets. And there we can just type in zoom, for example. So um, here goes the zoom in, which we make now, which will be an integer. So create this one and call it zoom and just pull it in so it's, it will get this integer number and then we can just type behind an X and zoom. So it will create a text with this variable at first and then this text. So yeah, that's all for this widget and we can now work on the logic. So open up your first person character, go down here to free place, click we and type in key. So we get this V key here. And from this V key, we uh, do uh, is valid. And we will later do this input here. First, from the is not valid, we want to create widget. So the first time we are pressing V in the game, it will create the widget for us. And we want to reference it. So call this button. Binocular. I have really problems with typing this word. So like this, and then just add to viewport, like this. So now we can put in here the ref, so if it's not valid, we just want to set the visibility of this one to visible. So we can do it something like this. And now um, all we want to do is uh, here to select 
on int or switch on int sorry switch on int so we can um, actually go through uh, a lot of setups with an count index so for this we grab here the selection and promote this to a variable called count so this one will be zero at first like this and before we continue we can pull this in here like this and the next step is a new function so we get a bit uh, more space here um, new field of use the name like this and we need another variable called zoom value this is a float and we want to actually set it here oh and I made a mistake here field of course like this and the zoom value will come from outside so the next step will be incrementing the end so get the count and increment it increment means it will add just one to the old number and then we grab in our camera which is currently used and we set the field of view here and now it's the thing here how we calculate this um, we get another first person camera and we get the actual field of view and then we get all the zoom value oops not set get all zoom value wow like this and now I will show you what we uh, have to do here so I want to have a zoom by 4 at the first time so I pull this in here at uh, 0 I think uh, we want a zoom value of 4 zoom value of 4 means we have here the screen of uh, I like to say 100% and if we zoom 4 times we uh, need to get yeah 25% of it so divided by 4. So we get here the zoom value and the field of view and we divide it by a 4 here and then we plug in this one. So now we get a zoom of 4. We can test this now. So here is our zoom by 4 and after we did this we want to grab our uh, binocular ref and we want to set the zoom value for variable of this one and we want to set it to the same number we set it here or in mind like this and before we can go here into the next step I want to um, actually set back the field of view so set field of view back like this, compile and save. And here you can um, grab your first person character, camera, sorry, get the field of view actually, which is now divided by four. And we just multiply now by the old value. So which is at the moment still four, uh, four sorry, like this. And then we just want to set the field of view. So now, if we click we are back at the norm at the old view like here and just pull it in like this and then we can actually make a new field of view so here comes the a little bit tricky part to understand um, actually we have now the four times zoom is a 25 percent so we have here the um, yeah the middle on one field of this maybe I can paint this for you um something like we got this i just make it for uh showing you so it will not be beautiful so we have here this um part now selected and from this part we again need uh 25 percent so we need now this part here or that or whatever so again 25 percent and for this value, we need to um, yeah, go through the exponent of 4. And what it does is just 4 exponent 2, which is 16. 
very simple. And here you can just add in 16. And we do the same for uh, the uh, 16 times zoom, but this time again, a reminder, a remind, remember that we need 25% of another screen now, which is 64, like this. And I forgot of here the, the reference to set. And our zoom text will now uh, call 8 times zoom and 60 times zoom. But we need to divide the float by 16 and 64. So, yeah, just, I don't know, I somewhere googled it and it was somewhere in Wikipedia how this field of view with a binocular work. So, yeah, that's all you do here. And the last step is just to set back on the third click. So set view, field of view back. And of course, don't forget to set the count to zero again. And then we want to set the visibility of this one to hit like this. And now if we press again, again, uh, this function here will always go this way. So yeah, that's it. So just test it four times, eight times, and 60 times. And yeah. So yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions for this, um, yeah, you can just ask them under the video. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye.